So there you are just chilling when in a flash of inspiration you decide to be productive. So you get up, you go to the computer, crack your knuckles and you're ready to get some work done. But then a new Netflix show shows up. And then BOOM! It's night time. And you're just like fuck. And just like that, we've all had our moments where we procrastinate. You know, where we want to do something and we just, we just can't find the time or the effort to do it. But the thing is, we need to do things like these in order to have a better life. We have to be productive at different points in time. So the question is, how can we be productive if issues like this happen so often? And the way that we do most of our things is through motivation. But there's a particular thing about motivation that stops us. So in our brains, you have this chemical called dopamine. And dopamine is the kind of chemical that makes you happy and motivated. So every day you wake up, you would feel a high level of dopamine. You would be happy and motivated. But once you put in the work and the hours, you're going to feel less motivated because the dopamine eventually runs out. But the thing about this chemical in our brain is that it's limited in supply. Even if you have it at a very large amount at a particular point of time, it's always going to run out, right? And it's not something that we can rely on all the time if we want to get things done in the long term. So if we don't, if we cannot rely on motivation, what can we do? How can we get things done? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is through habits. So the thing about habits is a habit is something that you can do over and over again. It's like, you know, brushing your teeth where you can get up in the morning and you can just do it, right? So if you can make a productive habit a part of your routine, a part of your life, in a couple of months or even like, you know, even a week or two, you're going to see major changes in your life. And that's why habits are something that is key because the thing about habits is you don't really need motivation. You just make it a part of your life, right? So you don't need to feel like doing it in order to, to do it, right? It's just something that you can do on your own without anyone pushing you. And that is something that is extremely powerful. But the thing about habits is that it's really difficult to implement. I mean, one day you're just like, okay, um, today I'm going to work out for one hour a day. And then like, you just like three minutes in, you're just like really tired and you just give up or it just like slips through your mind or something like that may always happen to you. And that's something that you need to avoid. So the question is, how can you develop these habits in order to be productive and in order to get things done? From what I've learned, that is through this thing called small habits. Now the thing is we can't suddenly incorporate this habit into our life, right? It takes consistency. And maintaining consistency, you need motivation for that. And that's very difficult. So without motivation, how can you develop that consistency? How can you incorporate this habit into your life without any, you know, any gaps in between and how to maintain that consistency? So in order to do that, you have to start small, right? So let's say you're, you want to exercise, your goal is to exercise for two hours a day, for example, right? If you have an exercise in a month, you cannot do that. No matter how motivated you are, no matter how many videos you watch of like Dwayne Johnson or like all those other like WWE wrestlers, like it's not going to motivate you because it's just very, it's just a lot more difficult than it seems. So if you want to develop a habit like this, you have to start small. In this example, it would be something like, let's say you get up in the morning and you just exercise for, let's say five minutes a day, right? That's nothing, right? Anyone can do it. And if anyone can do it, you don't need motivation for that. So in the first week of your habit, if you can exercise five minutes a day, that's good. Because the second week you can increase that time to just a few minutes by let's say eight minutes a day or even 10 minutes a day. And you maintain that consistency. So in the first week, five minutes a day, second week, 10 minutes a day, third week, 15 minutes a day, and you keep upping it up until you get to that two hours. Now, this is something that will take time and may seem like a waste of time to you, but I can assure you that the consistency is there. If the consistency is there, the results that you want will definitely show up. I mean, like back then, I had the worst attention span ever. Like I couldn't read more than a page without like zoning out of like not being able to remember what has been written in that page. So I implemented this strategy and I was able to read in an hour, right? Because, you know, the first day I read like one page a day or then the second second week, like three pages a day. And I kept increasing it by two pages a day per week. And by the end, I was able to read 20 to 30 pages on a daily basis. And that's pretty much all I have to say. So remember, if you want to get things done, do it through small habits, make a routine, develop that routine because the key is consistency and if you want that consistency you need to start small and you will get results thank you very much for watching um according to youtube only a small percentage of people that watch my videos are actually subscribed so if you like what you see consider subscribing it's free and you can always unsubscribe later i'm sorry i had to do that because like i just need to do that in every video because we're almost there at 100 subscribers so if you can just check down and see if you're subscribed that would be really much very much appreciated um so yeah thanks for watching